Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Let's Play Gloomhaven Early Access. Uh, and by hello everyone, I mean that one person, if you watched the whole video, the whole 76 minutes of part 2, I believe. I don't know where you came from, I don't know what you want, but I will find you. Uh, and also I, I welcome all the people from the future who will find out about my video once I will get to um, unsubscribe the PewDiePie or other YouTubers. And jokes aside, this is my conscious decision not to advertise my channel yet because I'm not sure if I will keep doing this uh, for a long, I just want to find out if I like streaming. As you can see, there is no front camera here, I, I just don't know how to fix it, but boring stuff aside, let's jump into the next part of the adventure, so let, let us continue. In the last video, I funnel, uh, I get to defeat the monsters in the Forgotten Tunnels. I, for, I have forgotten to f try to use this Warhammer. I try to remember this in this playthrough. But the fir first thing I will be doing is to try to uh, optimize my decks because as you can see there are three cards I'm not using maybe they might be something better than the cards uh, in the starting decks so let, let me see them through really quick I won't be doing in-depth analysis my process would be uh, reading those three cards, mm, wondering if I like them and then maybe swapping with something I didn't use that, that much. So, heaving swing, swing is attack free, push one. So, this is the melee attack which might synergize with the Warhammer. You may po push the target into hexes containing obstacles in. Each case destroyed that obstacle, the target suffers two damage and you gain in one XP. So it's potentially five damage attack and some uh, removing of obstacles uh, and pushing might push them into the trap as well. So and the other part is add one plus one uh, attack to all of your ranged attacks this round. So. This is fairly aggressive card, I like it. Let's go to the next one. Forceful Storm, so this is the burn card, so it might be powerful, but it is one use only. So it's attack free with range free and would disarm the opponent. Disarming means uh, I believe they will skip the next attack action or, or something like this. I cannot look at into this right now, but... Uh, and gain 1 XP for each enemy targeted. And it also provides, I believe, air element, which I have no use for. So... And the... Uh, Secondary ability is add plus two attack to all of your melee attack this round. Okay, uh, I'm not bad on this card, but let's see the next one. Heal to reach to uh, two targets. Healing is okay, but uh, I have some already. On your next six ranged attacks action, when air, I believe, is strong or warning, uh, use that air to add plus two range 
so it would synergize with this ability uh, hmm, I really like the flavor of nature's lift forceful storm but I don't think the two cards which synergize with each other is enough for me so uh, I would try to find a place for this heaving swing and that's it so uh, let us see opposing strike is uh, okay and uh, the secondary ability was quite useful in the last uh, playthrough crushing gasp creates the earth element and immobilized the secondary ability I haven't used yet, so maybe this one. Avalanche, mm, it creates the obstacles I haven't used, but with this heaving swing there is some potential synergy. Uh, okay, yeah, rumbling advance. Uh, it's nice movement nice healing massive boulder it's ranged attack uh, with aoe and generating earth element backup ammunition uh, was quite useful the last time i, I uh, rock tunnel it the primary ability i really don't care about destroying one adjacent obstacle but Jumping, immobilizing might be useful, but it's only one time. Uh, so this is potential card for discarding from the set. Unstable upheaval. Uh, it's quite powerful attack with great initiative. Crater, I like it a lot their tornado it's okay so i believe i will get rid of this rock tunnel and place heaving swing inside my deck and to the scandrial uh, i called her him but on this miniature it's uh, i will guess it, it, it's she so I will call her uh, her from now on. So there is sinister opportunity, the really low initiative card. Attack three plus one attack for each of your allies adjusted to the target, and with darkness plus two attack instead. There was some card which gave me darkness if I invisible. Uh, on your next attack while invisible double the value of the attack and get it's quite powerful card i haven't used it in preparation and i like to be proactive but smoke bomb has this pulling ability as well so maybe maybe I don't know. but uh, creating the darkness is one time use only so uh, so to the secondary ability movement free force one adjacent enemy to perform move one with you controlling the action and ending in hex adjacent to, to you so this is like some mind controlling it's quite interesting but let's see the next one tricks the re reverse also it's one time attack Two at plus X attack where X is double the shield value of the target, so it might be useful to kill the shielded enemies. The next time you suffer damage, this run suffer no damage instead. Looks good, but, uh, and swift bow. Attack 3, range 4, or move to loot every hex you enter with this action. So, I'm not so, super uh, convinced on 
on any of those cards, but let me see if there are any cards inside the deck I really don't like. So, uh, single out was very powerful, so 5 damage attack is uh, very, uh, very strong. Same goes for this flanking strike. Uh, smoke bomb might go out. I, I, I will think about this, so let me just discard it from the deck for now. And uh, backstab, I like this this positioning, this powerful attack, so I'll leave it here. Thief snack. Mm, it's I like it because it has attack on the secondary ability. So uh, I'll definitely leave it here. Venom Strike is useful. Poison is quite powerful to eliminate enemies with lots of hit points. Throwing Knives is not very strong attack, but it targets two enemies and has powerful, strong initiative. Uh, quick hands is movement and attack, which I, I like it uh, a lot. And special mixture is healing self or poisoning AoE. So potentially smoke bombs uh, goes away. If this would be the case, I wouldn't take the sinister opportunity in because I would lose uh, the only card with the darkness. Uh, element so the other two candidate candidates are three tricksters re reversal which uh, might be okay or swift bow which is ranged attack and some looting potential so let me think mm. I like the Swift Bow. It's not the most powerful card, but it's just another attack card which wouldn't burn my uh, deck. So I will put it in. Also, since. Uh, let's leave it right like that and. There is a poison dagger to equip, and I believe that's it. So now on we will travel to the next dungeon. I think I will go to this oozing depths. So let's go and hope for the best. Let's go to the adventure. Uh, there would be cultist. Oh, I can see their stats. I don't know what uh, they mean. Is it the average or what? But cultist don't seem to have much attack. So I guess they would have some special abilities. So let's go for the adventure. So, the new dungeon, I like the, the, the change of the lightning, let's see what we are dealing with right now. So this is the living corpse, not a light one, so it's a lit light, I'm not sure uh, the, the pronunciation here. So they are quite slow, I guess they will move up to one hex. But, uh, or if they move twice, they will do nothing else besides of losing half. So let's focus on this cultist. It seems not to have any special abilities. It would be the best to deal them with him from the distance. So if we kill him, this corpse wouldn't move and attack someone who is over here. So 
let me see also the doors are over here so is this a trap or not no uh, so we might be we might like to move in this di the direction in general if possible so uh, let's see what ranged attacks we have over here so this is not very strong attack but it's ranged this is the pushing attack uh, this is aoe attack which would muddle the enemies so if i hit over here it might be good uh, also this place is quite narrow so maybe i will just prepare my earth element first with this uh, massive boulder which i will try to throw over here it's range three one two three uh, so this card for sure and uh, to be sure to go before the cultist i will choose some low initiative i will choose this unstable upheaval but for movement only and massive boulder so i hope this cultist wouldn't have initiative of lower than 13 and this scandrial i would like to focus on uh, killing this guy so any this would deal only two damage and this boulder this boulder is doing three so it might be enough and wrench three so if i go over here i would i could target those two guys some the throwing knives and some movement I will use single out uh, the movement card. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so we will be quicker than them. We definitely don't want to get close to this those living corpses because they have free attack. But this guy uh, is not an issue. So starting with Scandrial, we will move over here and I will throw the daggers here and here. Nice. Nice. And now the massive boulder it's wrench free so I should be able to throw it over here and good enough now I can move somewhere they will go only one space so I think I will get closer to them to have them in range So, now I have this earth element, so I will use this dirt tornado uh, for sure, but I will need some low initiative card as well. Uh, maybe this crushing grasp. Oh, 
no, this is just loot. Um, I will try this one, this combination. And for the scandrial, uh, I will try to maybe get over here and soften or kill this guy. So I will need one to three movement at least. I do remember I have those boots. They might be useful later. And this might be the movement card for me, and some attack card. Maybe I just use this ranged attack and uh, so I don't need, need this movement yet. I will use this as a movement, so Swift Ball and Venom Shift. Oops. So they will move twice, muddle and immobilize. Uh, okay. So no damage at least. Luckily they focus on the great part. So the AI is acting according to the board game rules, but I don't don't know them exactly. This is, there is some rule you choose the closest target or uh, the one with most hit points or something like this. This is quite easy uh, script, so don't expect to uh, AI perform some advanced tactical decisions uh, so for our scandrial uh, I might choose this melee attack instead since I am in melee range or not, no, no, I, I just want to... Attack this guy. So, I have fumbled. And definitely I want to move away, maybe grabbing some gold. I don't want to open the doors yet, but maybe since they are so slow, I, I could. No, it's not a good idea yet. I could deal five damage to one guy, or so I will move first. I think um, I will move away. Oh, I am immobilized, so no, no, no move, movement for me. So I will get plus one. And I will power up this attack. And I wonder would it target me as well with attack and let's see it 
Oh, no damage to the one car guy. And no damage to the other guy. No, two damage to the other guy. They have model, so at least, at least that's a good news. Okay, I'm not muddled, so the, the, the muddle will target my allies, but, but not the caster himself. It's always useful to know. And I definitely don't want to be here. So now I just think I will run away and try to deal with, with whatever is there. And those corpses would just slowly approach me. By the time they will get to me, I hope to deal with whatever is over there. So let's find out the quickest move for the Craig Hart. It's four movements, so one, two, three, four. It's not too impressive, but. Uh, so I, I might take free movement as well and now for something I would take this crushing grasp as my first card so I might immobilize this guy. I might try to kill this guy as well, but I think immobilizing this, this one might be more useful. And for this scandal, I will need some movement and some powerful versatile attack. Uh, what have we got here? So this is move to attack 2 it's move 3 and poison it's move 6 so I could position myself quite nicely and I won't be using this backstab primary ability just yet so it would be my movement card of choice uh... For the primary, I will use this quick hands. Okay, so they will move one attack free, so they wouldn't be able to get to the Craig Heart, so that's good. So, I will move over here, see what's there. So, this is the Living Corpse Elite. I don't want to be anywhere near this monstrosity. They don't seem to have any special uh, abilities and I hope that he is slow and wouldn't have any like ranged attacks or something like this. So I will move over here. Skip the movement and now the quick hands. I will skip the movement and attack this cultist. Nice. Now the cultist turn. So the cultist will attack me for zero, which is good. And living corpse would move one attack four, so Oh, and Elite would move one attack free, which is cool. So the Craig Heart, I will attack and immobilize this guy. Why is the damage nice? I'm really glad I've chosen to attack this one, not that one. And I will move over here. So the big bad guy, the other big bad guy, and the round. 
So, uh, let me see if Craighart might deal some ranged damage. There is an earth element. which I might use so I will potentially kill this guy and I'm not sure I, I should have the line of sight to this guy because uh, the way it is supposed to work is if you cannot you can connect any corner of your uh, hex with any corner of the opponent's hex you have the line of sight so I believe this line wouldn't cross any wall so I should be able to do the crater and for the scandrial I will try to kill this guy maybe poison this oh, let's see So I could use the flanking strike to damage this guy, potentially killing him, and then move and poison this living corpse. So the cultist would move, attack and heal self. I hope he wouldn't have the chance he won't have a chance to do so. Living corpse with move and perform a quite powerful attack which would probably target my scandrial and this living corpse would not be an issue so I will attack this guy nice and now I will move let's say over here Skip movement, confirm, confirm, oh yeah, I will poison this guy, so he should suffer one more damage for every one attack, so I will range attack, I think this guy twice, it, it, uh, since he is a bigger issue, uh, Oh, I cannot do this twice, I, I, I derped. So it's either attack 2 range 5 or attack 3 range 3 with some push. I don't need this healing ability, but... Uh, but using this movement would burn me this card but I, I believe we are somewhere two thirds in this campaign in this dungeon anyway so why not so I will start with this one without bo bo boosting it uh, and we'll try to attack this guy so we have dealt two damage because it's two base minus one from the draw, drawn card and plus one because he is poisoned and now we will jump and damage all adjacent allies and enemies uh, uh, and it's not a damage it's, uh, they are suffering two damage so I believe uh, the shield wouldn't won't, won't affect this and I will go over here skip the rest and confirm the action and that's it so I have to choose if I want to receive or damage, burn one of my cards. I will I happily 
learn this card. And this guy will just slowly crawl towards me. I believe he would be the last one standing. Because I'm just ignoring him. So for the Craig Heart, uh, I want to use those attacks and let since I will be doing performing melee attack, uh, I will try to remember to stun the opponent. So let's use the avalanche as our attack card and oh, no I, I will use uh, opposing strike as my attack card so if I use my rambling advance as a movement I will infuse some earth element and potentially boost the avalanche next round No, I will use the Avalanche as an attack because it deals more damage right now. And for uh, so potentially we will deal five damage here. So for the scoundrel, I will use the short rest. So I will lose one random card uh, instead of selected one but I will get to perform in this round so I don't, I don't like losing this king strike so I will withdraw I will use single out which is okay it's low initiative it's just less powerful version of flanking strike so I don't need much damage here uh, if Craig Hart won't fumble uh, he might deal 5 damage on average so I, I want to deal 2 damage over here uh, so maybe those throwing knives and I will which have range 3 so if I go through this door 1, 2, 3 I would be still in range of this living corpse and I could potentially damage someone, or someone over there so now I need some movement 3 card I will use this Venom Shift as a movement card, so mm, I could go somewhere else if the situation over there wouldn't be that nice. So the uh, Living Corpse uh, Elite would deal a lot of damage. This Living Corpse just slowly crawls towards me. So, we'll start with the movement over here. Let's see what we've got here. There, there is Cultist Elite with AoE attack around himself, so he's not an issue. There is a Living Corpse, which wouldn't do anything. There are one more doors over there, so I'm real happy that I decided to take this uh, run, uh, run, running approach and ignoring the slower enemies because I might have a chance to uh, complete this dungeon easily. So this position is quite okay. So I will skip the rest of the movement. Uh, the, this poison dagger works only for uh, melee attacks, so 
not try it now. I will do some damage over here and here. Nice. And okay. Now this cultist, he wouldn't do anything for the Craig Hart. Uh, I really don't want to move to this place anyway, so I will just move over here. And confirm. And now I should kill this guy. Nice. And those living corpses are aren't very quick. He might have to move through those traps, I guess. Or move around. I, I, I don't know. So end the round. And for this scoundrel I, I want some powerful blow to this guy so this is potentially 5 damage or even 7 if I get Craig Hurt to move over here before acting uh, But I don't think that would be a possibility. Uh, attack and immobilize. I'm okay with burning this card. So this is my lowest initiative card. It's 13. So it is possible. It's quite risky because it might mean the cultist would move, but let's try. Uh, also, I get the chance if Craig Hart has jumping movement because he would have to move through my ally, and I don't think I have jump and jump. So let's just forget this plan. I will use this one and this one for the Craig Hart if he would go there later so let's see if we have some one to three movement card and some melee attack I I've forgotten to use this uh, again. I will use this one and their tornado for moving for movement so the cultist would heal himself i believe the good news is he wouldn't hurt us the bad news is mm -hmm. we won't deal that much damage to him But I would do it anyway. I will poison this guy and deal five, six damage to him. Five damage. It's okay. I have burned my backstab card, which I really, really like. 
so he's healing himself, which should remove the poison, but uh, is not healing him. So if he is poisoned, the healing seems to have value of zero. So I will move over here. And now I will deal some damage to this guy. Only one damage, but I will push him. I cannot push him into the wall, so only the small obstacle obstacles counts. And the living corpses. So once again, I think I will rush to the next room uh, with th those guys. Uh, the crate heart is the slower one, mm, so I'll try to move him as far as possible while the scoundrel will be dealing with the enemies. I will use this attack and then I will loot the gold around. And for the Craig Heart, this guy should be dead. So I want to advance and maybe do some preparation. So this is my quickest movement card. I have this ranged attack, which I could use, but I'd rather use this backup ammunition. So those two cards. I have forgotten to use my Warhammer once again. Oh. So the living corpse will attack and push, but uh, suffer one damage, uh, which is very good because I am not in the range of them. And the cultist just die, but summon some living bones, so I will definitely want to kill this guy before he do so. So uh, I will use this. Flanking strike. I have killed this guy and I will loot. So get some gold. And that's it. The living corpses do, not, do nothing. And with the grey card, I will move. I, I think I will move over here so I might have the option to hurt the, those living corpses and I will prepare my backup ammunition okay. so. so we are ready for the I believe final room Okay, so uh, for the scandal we have to rest. I will choose a short rest because why not? Throwing knives are uh, quite nice, but I'm okay with burning them. 
uh, with credit card. I have backup ammunition, so my ranged attacks are better. I would love to infuse some earth element, but the only way to do so is well, rambling advance isn't isn't bad choice, I believe. I will just move. And since I would not have any I will just use this earthen cloth and I will find out one more things, thing I was curious uh, if I will be able to attack the same guy twice and for the scandal we need some quick movement card and then some flexible attacks So I will use my Venom Shift as my movement card, but I need something with better and Swift Bow as my ranged attack. So the corpses wouldn't do anything. The Craig Heart goes first, so I will move by two now I will range attack this gate twice one only one attack and now I will go so, I am able to move through my ally, that's good to know. Now I have this range, those living corpses will move and attack, so maybe I will move away. No, I, I'm not able to use those boots after selection of action. This guy will summon living bones. This guy will damage me. I will just try to hurt this guy as much as possible. Almost. Okay. So this is a very nice, very tight room, so Craig Hart potentially would uh, deal some AOE damage. Mm. There is some potential for the opposing strike. But I don't think I have movement available, so this is nice. If I go over here, I might target all the guys around. Let me see if I am able to move away with my scandal. Yes, I am. So I will use this as a movement card and this as my attack. This is the melee attack, so remember to use this <laughs> Warhammer. It will target enemies only, so... Okay. Uh, and for the scandal, I need to move away. 
uh, I will move over here and poison one adjacent guy. And use the flanking strike. Well, this guy has shield and will heal uh, himself, so I will not be attacking him with the scoundrel. I will not be poisoning him. And living corpses wouldn't do anything, which is great. So, I will move over here get some gold to poison one of the living corpses and to potentially flank the enemies. I will poison let's see, this guy. And there's a chest. I should be looking for the, those but I believe there is only one. Okay and I will attack Power of three, this guy. Nice. Yes. Now, this guy, he wouldn't do anything uh, except of getting shield. Now, for the Craig Heart, I need to move. I think I'm okay. Oh. I will go over here not to not hurt my scandrial. And now I will power up this one. We'll deal free damage to all enemies up to two hexes away. That was a nice damage. So this corpse will move and hurt itself. The, this one will just hurt itself. And perfect. So by leaving this guy over here. I will have some enemy to walk to and by doing so I will have some time to grab some gold I believe. So the idea is the scoundrel will run around grab gold and the Craig Heart would fight the enemies. I'm kind of proud of this. I have forgotten to use my hammer. <laughs> I will use the short rest, yes. Dear Tornado, okay, I'm okay with losing this one. It might be nice AoE, but... Uh... So, over here we need to rest as well. And this is not looking quite good for the. Oh, I, I, I will. I don't want. I want short rest. Uh, what are our other options? Flanking strike is. Uh, I'm okay. It's quick movement, but there are some move and loot cards as well so so do I have any what can we do here? So massive, uh, the massive boulder will 
would kill this guy, hurt this guy. I like it, so I will try to move over here. Or maybe just rumbling admins with some melee attack. Okay, and for the Scandrial, I would like to move away from the Craigheart, but it's not possible. So maybe I will change the order. It's not so... Let's try. Or not. Uh, we not need any of those then. I will use this rambling advance just to kill this guy. And use some ranged attack. So this guy will heal himself. No damage here. Some damage here. I'm okay with. Healing, which I don't like. Uh, I will use this rambling advance and skip the movement, do some damage to this guy. And I will use the ranged attacks to deal with them. Nice. And okay. Now the scandal I I will go over here and kill this guy. I have found 15 goals, which is good. So, let us try to grab as much, much gold as possible and kill the rest of the enemies. So, it's kind of real mine. So we have loot one, which is useless right now. There is move to attack two, potentially killing this guy. And then with Venom Chief, I 
I think I'll, I'll just use those cards and see what happens since the initiative is low <laughs> enough. So I will use this opposing strike just to try to use this hammer and I will use massive boulder as a movement card. Shield and heal. Living corpse will do nothing. Okay, so I have this melee attack. Which should stun the enemy. I guess that means he won't do anything in the next round. Now I can move. Move and grab some gold. Let's go over there. And now the scandrial. I will use this as a movement card. Now attack and poison this guy. No damage, but he's poisoned. And grab some gold. Okay, so our scandrial have to rest. This is the Craig Heart of the Scandrial. I'm more than okay with losing this card. And over here we have to rest as well, and the things are getting tight. Uh, move and poison fuel, perfect. So. Let's see, I might have run to this guy, try to deal with him. So this is the range attack, with range 3, so 1, 2, 3, somewhere over here. So 1, 2, 3, 4 movement, is it possible? It's not, but if I will use it as my initiative card, there is a chance he will move towards me. And I will use this as my movement card, potentially using the special ability if my enemy would be close enough for the scandrial. Would try to kill this guy. I don't have any offhand attack. This is free damage, free damage, and at one XP. So this would be my attack card. And I guess... I guess it doesn't matter. 
So move and attack, move and attack. He is potentially dead. Yeah, he is dead. And I will use this movement to move over here and loot. Oh, there is this guy is moving. And for the Craig Heart 1, 2, 3, I will need to be over there to use my ranged attack, which is not possible. Um, but I will move anyway just to kill this guy in the next round and skip the action end of the round and let's try to kill this guy right now so this would be my movement this would be my attack i need the short rest it's okay i guess this is my ranged attack this is my, uh, my movement yeah and let's try to kill him I will move over here and confirm action. And that's it. So I have successfully cleared this dungeon. I'm proud of myself. This running strategy. Oh, I could something uh, not really I'm too far away to do anything oh I have boots so I will use this movement with those boots I can move and grab some gold I should be grabbing this gold, yes. This trip attack and turn and the round. And we are good. We got 14 golds, killed 11 enemies. And let's see on the map. We were here, we, we are heading towards Burnt Tavern, uh, which have two, uh, yeah, the two scenarios seems to be two scenarios on the way. Um, okay, so, so let finish right here let me know what do you think the people of the future and see you next time bye